Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning to our lecturer Dr. Suraya and our fellow friends. So we are from group 8 are going to present to you guys a uh, presentation about engineering application in approximating function and quadi approximations. So uh, my name is Muaz bin Abdul Malik and my metric number is 207 49. So I'm going to start the presentation. Enjoy. Okay. Ah, uh, so the Padi approximation is a particular and classical type of rational function approximation. The idea of this approximation is to expand a function uh, as a ratio of two power series and determine both the numerator and denominator coefficients. Using the coefficients of Taylor series expansion of the function, so uh, pada pada approximation are usually spread to Taylor series when function contains holes because the use of rational functions allow allows them to be well presented. So there are actually there are a lot of holes, like geometric holes and a lot other things. So which mean that uh. Padi approximations can do uh, can be used more wider than uh, Taylor, uh, the Taylor series, so it's more beneficial to us. So, uh, so uh, the Padi uh, approximation is invented by Henry Padi around 1819, but it goes back to George Ferro. So Benius, who introduced the concept and studied the features of rational power series approximation. So Henry Pali is uh, just continue the uh, the Josh for Benius uh, exploration, and he found the Pali approximation. That, that's the history of Pali approximation. So uh, the then the Pali approximations. Also provides a better approximation of the function than truncating the Taylor series, and where the Taylor series does not converge, it may still uh, so the party the approximation approximation may still works. So uh, which mean that uh, like before the party approximation is uh, widely used than the Taylor series. So it's been both beneficial for us. So uh, next, the for because of these uh, purposes, uh, it, it has been widely used in computer calculation because uh, it can calculate the time delay. So, for like example, that uh, now we use the internet. So by using for the approximation, we can know the time delay between the sender and the receiver. So by doing that, we can get the information more faster if we know the time delay because we can improve our system of neurology and all that. So we can shorten the time delay. So uh, I think that's it for my presentation. Uh, my friends will continue. My friends will continue the next uh, slide. Thank you. Hi. Uh, my name is Muhammad Izzat Najmi Berohak and my metric number is 206870. So I will continue the presentation about the Padi approximate. Okay, so as we can see here is the graph that uh, usually uh, used in the most calculation. So uh, the the blue line the blue line is the response to the time step input and the Orange line is the pre approximate at two two. Okay, here is the pet pet table. Uh, as uh, as we know that pet uh, that pet approximate has uh, three uh, series, which is uh, one over one, uh, two over two, and three over three. In in easy term, uh, it is uh, one over one is the highest. The highest power of series is uh, one. Two over two. The highest series at numerator and denominator is uh, power of two. And three over three. The highest series is uh, three. 
uh, is 3. Okay, here is the equation that we have to find and estimate for the error. As we can see that the in the equation, the sign of approximately equal to is being used. So, for the equation, uh, e power of negative x approximately equal to a plus bx plus dx power of 2 divided by capital A plus b x plus capital CX power of 2. Okay, so for the solution, first we are assuming an exact match at x equal to 0. We deduce at once that uh, A equal to capital A. Also, we know that 1 uh, over e power, e power of x equal to E power of negative EX. And, and assuming a similar relation for the approximation. So, uh, as, you, as we can see, here when we uh, assume uh, just now. Okay, from this, uh, this whole is we, if we choose A equal to small a as above, uh, capital B equal to negative B and capital C equal to uh, C giving this equation E power of negative EX approximately to capital A minus BX plus capital CX power of 2 divide by uh, capital A negative uh, minus capital BX plus capital CX power of 2. So after we assuming the the first first equation in the question we get this equation uh, we can see from this that it would be possible to express both sides of the equation as power series in x at least it uh, restricted domains uh, we can rewrite the approximation to make it exact so uh, the denominator of the uh, second equation that we assume we broke the denominator to the left hand side giving this equation where P and P unknown and Q unknown are to be found in this solution. So we replacing E uh, power of negative x by its power series representation. We have this long equation. And, the, and then this is the final equation: uh, capital A minus capital B x plus capital C x power of two plus P P. P is the unknown that we have to find in this in this uh, solution. P x power of uh, three plus Q x power of four plus R x power of, of five and and so on. So when we when we comparing the left hand side and the right hand side, we get uh, uh, capital A equal to A, capital B minus capital A equal to negative capital B uh, 1 over 2 capital A minus capital B plus capital C equal to C and so on uh, we see from we see from this that there is not a unique solution for A, B and C that means that there is not uh, there is no uh, existing solution that we can find but uh, we may choose them or some of them arbitrarily. So we taking a equal to one. If when when we take a equal to one, let's give b equal to one over two and one over twelve minus capital C equal to p. So when we setting p equal to zero, we'll make the error term smaller near x equal to zero. So we go adopt that choice, giving when we such when we substitute back the the value p equal to 0 we can get c equal to 1 over 12 so this gives q equal to 0 and r equal to negative 1 over 7 7 to 0 those we can we can get the next equation like this so that from this equation uh, we make use uh, the head of the equation is e power of neg negative x. Uh, this can happen when 
at the left side of the long equation that we get just now, uh, we move it to the right hand side. So we will get this equation. So we simplify the equation, then we get uh, 12 minus 6, 6x plus x power of 2 divided by 12 plus 6x plus x uh, power of 2 minus 1 over 700 and 20 x equal to 5 plus and so on. So as we can see that this is uh, 2 over 2 by the approximate. Uh, since that the highest power of numerator and the, de and the denominator is uh, power of 2. So, uh, the principal term of the error, uh, negative 1 over 7 to 0 x power of 5 enables us to decide the domain of usefulness of the approximation. For example, if we require an approximation correct to 4 decimal places, we need 1 over 7 to 0 x, x to power x power of 5 to be less than half uh, times 10 power of negative 4. Thus, the approximation like the equation below. E power of negative E x approximately equal to 12 minus 6 x plus x power of 2 divided by 12 plus 6 x negative x power of 2. From the equation, it yields answer correct to four decimal places for modulus x uh, times 0 0.51. Now I will continue the presentation. Right. This particular approximation is used by control engineers to enable them to apply linear system techniques to the analysis and design of systems uh, characterizing at a time delay in their dynamics. Since the degree of both the numerator and denominator is 2, this is referred as to as referred to as the 2 to bed approximate. As an extended exercise, the reader should obtain the following 1, 1 and 3, 3 bed approximate. For 1, 1, it is e to the power of x is approximately equal to 2 minus x over 2 plus x. And for 3, 3, it is e to the power of negative x approximately equal to 120 minus 60x plus 12x square minus x cube over 120 plus 60x plus 12x square plus x cube. So next, in conclusion, the application of sequence and series uh, in the approximation give a huge advantage to our daily life. Firstly, the approximation helps us to calculate something accurately um, for example, the paired approximation is the best way to calculate an approximation of a function because uh, if you, we use a rational function of uh, equation according to its um, order. For example, if we if the order is the power of one, so we calculate it to the power of one, and if if it is to the power of two, we cal we will calculate it for power of 2. And lastly, the application of approximation rises in applied mathematics and computer science, resulting in the improvement in our life quality. So that's it, I guess, that's it for, from our group and thank you.